everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. Back in the West Parlor here at Gray Manor. And I wanted to, uh, this may be a retread for some of you who have been watching the channel for a while. But I wanted to uh, address um, kind of what the Pipe Nook is all about, really. But first, I'm smoking my Savinelli Series 3 uh, 644 shape. Just loading up some Peterson's Irish Flake. There we go. So, let's talk about the pipe nook, where it came from, where it's going, that kind of thing. So, I started my channel about three years ago, and I started it out with a with a, a different name. It was Haunted Tank 75. That was kind of a, a gamer tag that I would use for different video games. And uh, I started this channel just to be part of the YTPC. Um, there were so many folks out uh, about three or four years ago making videos, having fun, doing VRs to one another. And I wanted to take part in that. The YTPC was a big part of uh, me learning how to actually smoke this thing after years and years. I'm talking about 20 years of me trying to figure it out on my own. And just kind of out of desperation one day I decided well, maybe there's some YouTube videos about it. Guess what? There were a lot. And uh, I dived right in. And while at first it seemed like, you know, there were different people on, on their different channels um, making instructional videos and review videos and that kind of thing, um, I started reading through comments and leaving comments and finding out that, hey, you know, the same people that make videos are leaving comments. This is a community. And then I started hearing, you know, the term YTPC or YouTube pipe community. And, uh, man, I started making videos because I wanted to be part of that. Well, uh, in early 2016, and some months before that, I'd been having inklings of starting a, uh, a company, a web-based company like, like the Pipe Nook. But in early 2016, um, I, uh, well, actually late 2015, back in December, I had a, an injury right after Christmas messed up my ACL in my right knee and I was laid up for uh, about a month two weeks straight but pretty much laid up for about a month really two months on crutches and that kind of thing and I finally had time uh, uh, to actually sit down there were no excuses to actually sit down and start this thing plan it out all that and I did. And, you know, I know we all have different beliefs, but uh, I believe that that was uh, God in my life slowing me down enough to where he was like, okay, you've got this idea. Enough's enough. Enough excuses. I'm going to have to lay you on, I'm going to have to lay you out uh, for a period of time so you can devote to this and get it started or you're never going to do it. So I've healed up quite nicely by the way. I'm back out mountain biking um, although it's been very hot. I haven't been mountain biking much lately but uh, I've healed up quite nicely. Um, I'd say I'm at 95 percent and uh, you know it's been about two years but I started the pipe nook and Around that time, I changed my channel name from Haunted Tank 75 to The Pipe Nook. 
And I didn't know how that was going to work out. I didn't know, um, you know, really what, there were a lot of decisions to make. Because I didn't want to just become a retailer and just make videos about, you know, stuff I was selling. I wanted to still be a part of the YTPC. It's always meant a lot to me, still means a lot to me. And uh, I didn't just want to become a corporate shill. And that really wasn't what this thing was all about. I knew I wouldn't be getting rich. I knew I was going into a highly regulated uh, industry. There were a lot smarter things I, <laughs> I could sell if I just wanted to sell stuff online. Um, and there are plenty of big box stores out there. You know their names. I don't have to say them. Uh, there's plenty of ways online for you to buy pipes and uh, tobacco. But what I wanted to do was remain a part of the YTPC, which I've always called my virtual pipe club. Um, there's not really a pipe club in the area where I live. I've tried to start one and had a couple of false starts. Still hold on to the idea. I hope to have a, a pipe club here in town. But the YTPC has always been my virtual pipe club. And what I wanted to do, what I wanted to grow and, and become uh, with the Pipe Nook was I wanted to be a virtual brick and mortar shop for my virtual pipe club. And my intent is never to carry everything under the sun. Like I said, there's companies that do that. My intent was to carry pipe brands and tobacco brands that I smoke, like this Peterson's Irish Flake, like this Savinelli uh, Unfinished. I wanted to only carry things that I personally smoke and can recommend to a friend. You know, if somebody asked me, hey, what would be a good cheap uh, pipe, you know, briar pipe to start out with, boom, Savinelli Series 3. What, what would be, I'm looking for something that's a, that's a strong, burly, with some dark-fired Kentucky. Boom, Irish Flake. It's not for everybody, but I would highly recommend you try it. So, that's what, um, that's what the store started out as. That's kind of the backstory of how my channel started and what it's grown into and I really hope that you guys agree that I'm kinda of towing the line between being a YTPC member and being a retailer I don't want to ever be just a retailer um, and I will never carry things just for commodity sake I've had a lot of people ask me about carrying this brand or that brand and while they may be fine brands What I want to do is limit uh, the field of choice uh, for what's available out there. There is so much out there that you can choose from. And I know when I started, I just couldn't believe going on some of the big sites and seeing the, you know, a hundred different pipe manufacturers, each with, you know, five or six or even more different lines within their, their brands. And the same thing with, toba with tobaccos, just hundreds and hundreds of choices. Um, it, it was just mind-numbing, and I had no idea where to start. Well, the Pipe Nook is about showing uh, new pipe smokers and fairly new pipe collectors where to start, what's good, um, what, what would I recommend if I were in your pipe club, which I am. I'm in your virtual pipe club. So that's kind of the, the long story of the Pipe Nook. I know I've, I've kind of glossed over it in the past, um, but I, I kind of wanted to, I feel like now was a good time um, to discuss that, that, you know, where, where I fit into the YTPC, where I fit into the online retailers. Uh, I really want to be the virtual brick and mortar for our virtual pipe club. 
And uh, hopefully one day we'll have t-shirts uh, about our virtual pipe club. I think that would be cool. Um, I do have pipe nook t-shirts, <laughs> so look for that on the site. But uh, that's what I want to be. And that's, you know, I hope it grows uh, in, the, in the months and years to come. But I never want to be a big warehouse, a big box type store. I always want to primarily serve the YTPC. And uh, so I, I hope you guys think I'm doing a good job with that. I want to thank um, every member of the YTPC that gives me shout outs, gives the store shout outs. Um, it all helps. And it, you know, I never get tired of hearing about good service that comes from the pipe nook and seeing the box openings and all that. I really appreciate each and every one of you uh, that do the box openings and the shout outs. So I'm going to get back to my Irish flake. Uh, I think that's enough rambling for this video. Glad y'all got to see me and we'll chat with you later. Mm -hmm.